Previously time on Odyssey. There was more violence after the band members had blown up Epcot. They began flying back to the Miss Jackson in an attempt to rescue it from the onslaught of fire from the various jets and guns from the surface of Floor. I wrote... <laughs> I, I, I scripted this out and I just realized I wrote from the surface of Florida's surface. All right, we'll go with that. Mad banana. Okay. 41. Yeah, this thing disintegrates. That's better. Eventually, the Miss Jackson's shields were taken out and the band members began trying to save as many Carl Sagan clones as they could by catching them in the Space Shuttle Challenger. All right, you, you come down and um, just like uh, a Huey landing and Nam, um, you got, uh, uh, I don't know, either James or, um, or Allison, like, you know, kind of waving on the side and, you know, a bunch of these Carl Sagan's are climbing on board. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm talking to Charlie Greenman. I'm going to be taking off around uh, 17,000 feet. And if you could all be please slash your... Uh, and then you'll hear a squeal in your head. And Jimmy Slam on the bike like... <laughs> 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 you see one of the, the, the um, Carl Sagan's jump off the ship when he hears this. Like... <laughs> The space shuttle began attempting to break free of the continental spaceship's atmosphere, where the jets would no longer be able to follow them. Making their escape, an alert sounded on the computer, and the Carl Sagans announced that they were about to be under fire from, quote, the big one. I feel like the big one needs more explanation, Carl. Um, it's the big one. Uh, a weapon that could basically take us out of one shot. Oh, the big one. I can't explain it any better than that. But strangely, nothing happened. Unbeknownst to those on board, the reason nothing happened was because the big one was ordered to be powered down by someone in charge on the continent. That's it. We have luck. On your command, Mr. President. Fire and fire. What? Why? We have it has caught my attention. That they have something very special for. Is it what we've been looking for? Perhaps. Or possibly something more powerful. Let them go. We wait. We follow. Having escaped the danger for now, the band members decided to locate and hunt down their old manager, Brantley Swinton. Swinton? Swindon? I can never remember his name. So, uh, do you know where Prantley is? I would assume that, uh, he is where he was beforehand. You know, the place where you were heading before all this took place. Ladies and gentlemen, the Aldrin! <laughs> This is a recap, recap song. Gonna recap the recap, <laughs> recap song. Bust the recap. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so we're still on our ship, right? Or did we get yeah, on the Miss Jackson? Yep, you're on the Challenger. Um, you're kind of like uh, just flying alongside the Miss Jackson, flying away from okay. the United Space of America. And um, That's what I thought. You are starting to part ways and, and go your own directions. And um, another uh, sort of hailing message comes from the, the Miss Jackson. And um, you see uh, an image of Mr. Dwight pop up on your console. Does anybody want to talk to fucking Dickface or no? Because <laughs> I don't really want to talk to Dickface. Well, are we calling him Dickface now? Did we move on from fuckhead? Well, no, we didn't move on. I just feel like people can have multiple nicknames, James. All right, fuckhead dickface. 
I like the sound of it. Do you think that his surname would be Dickface, or do you think that it would be Fuckhead? Let's all contribute. Uh, Allison, what do you got? What do you want to tack on here? I'm thinking he's more of a douche canoe, so I think it would be Fuckface Douche Canoe Dickhead. Uh, Esquire. Hey, I'm into it. Yo, what up, Fuckface Douche Canoe Dickhead? Yeah. That's a mouthful. All right. Well, not... I don't want a mouthful. I, what I mean is... Wait, while you're behind, James. <laughs> At this point, he's started to talk and then stopped several times <laughs> as you guys keep going. <laughs> I think your microphone's muted. Yo, we gotta unmute him. Oh, I've heard... Oh, hey, there he is. Oh. Hey! <laughs> we can hear you now. Hey, fuckface! <laughs> I'm sure you found my last... Hey, could you hear all that? You, I just want to make sure... That we got a knight you. Now. I'm gonna like tap you on a shoulder with the fucking sword or some shit. I now pronounce you. I don't remember any of it. I'm too drunk. In real life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you found my last parting gifts to you by now. Your companion is in one piece and you have the capability to go anywhere you please. Add to that the alien ship is immobilized for the time and you'll see that you find yourselves in a satisfactory position going forward. Yeah, okay, um... Thank you? I don't know, let's not go that far yet, Allison. You know, like, <laughs> maybe, maybe a, a, like a, a, a hearty... Hey, no problem. You know? Just a hearty no problem. Hey, Yo, Dwight, no problem. That's fair. Yo, can you hear me, D-White? Yes, I can. Yo, I got a question for you. Okay, so as I was editing these previous episodes, I noticed that you were collaborating. Oh you was collaborating with these scientists, right? And so you were the one that cryo froze all those people. Hey, what were you using those people for anyway? The people in cryostasis, that was an early version of the hypersleep in this ship. The Miss Jackson was a generations old ship. Many other newer models were built somewhat around it. What I used was the Mach 1 version, so to speak. So they weren't your prisoners? No. The, what I believe is that they were the original crew. Does anybody else find it weird that they call it hypersleep, even though it's, it's sleep? Like, I realize that there's a lot of it, but it's not, like, supercharged sleep. Sleep is always the same. If you listen back through the episodes, you can almost swear that every time Chris says it, he says hyper sleep, like hibernation, yes. which makes more sense, but it's also wrong. <laughs> you are correct. It is hyper sleep. But it's as not in hibernation though. sleep. But it's also not though. I looked it up. <laughs> it's hyper. <laughs> I've always said it is hyper. I know. That's why I looked it up because I was like, is he saying hyper like hibernation? I, am I wrong this whole time? And I looked it up and it's hyper with a P. The thing that I made up is hypersleep, because it's different than any other thing, okay? Holy shit, you never specified that. I thought you were wrong this whole time, and I just never was going to call you out. <laughs> Until no, you decided to call him out for no reason? Shit can be whatever I want it to be. We're talking about it. I thought now was maybe a good time. <laughs> it's intervention. Charlie is going to flip to a page that is really fourth wall breaking, and it just says, shut the fuck up, Brian, for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Brian? <laughs> kind of a Deadpool moment, I know, but, you know, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> the calliope music from Curb Your Enthusiasm starts to play. <laughs> and Charlie's also played by Ricardo Montalban um, in that <laughs> moment. Is that the guy that sings, I love it when you call me senior? <laughs> <laughs> yep, absolutely. Good call. <laughs> he also played Khan in Star Trek, so, you know. <laughs> And then MO5 points up and goes, The plane! The plane! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that was not that funny. I don't know why I laughed that hard. <laughs> uh, it's a weird I'm second thought, I rescind my laughter. So, why did you give us those things? I'm really confused right now. As I've stated before, my effect on your lives was never anything personal. It's all about forwarding my uh, progress. And oh, so you're a psychopath. Not 
even quite everyone that has come into my sphere of influence I gave them basically what they actually wanted I just made sure that I got what I wanted out of it too and you were no exception except for who I could only consider as your leader Charlotte Greenman who um, doesn't really go the way that normally people go and I very much respect that Oh yeah, you gave me what I wanted? Is that why you had a play for Chicken Crossing the Road that fucking sucked? You think I wanted that shit? What? The movie and play on the ship? What? I took that personally. Now, I've done a lot of things, but creating something so... I think Brian, what's a word nerve? that I should use there? Because I'm, I'm too dumb to know <laughs> a good word for say that. Say tedious. Please say tedious. <laughs> Something so tedious. Uh, so anyway, you're per- affording us professional courtesy, yada yada, blah blah blah. But what, like, what is your goal now? My goals are my own. And I'm, I'm pretty far along my way to achieving all of them. And, uh... It's at this point they no longer involve you, so I will be bidding you adieu. Tally ho. Hey, just remember one thing, Mr. Dwight. If you ever cross me again, I will fucking kill you. The last time was a fluke. The last time you did shoot me twice in the chest. Uh... Oh, I know, but I didn't I didn't kill you. I tried really hard. Next time I'll try harder. Yeah, I I don't want to insult you, but um you are of great uh, will. I am, am of great mind. And so, um, good luck. <laughs> hey, so here's the thing, though. You know what? You know what? The dick that I'm gonna have implanted on my elbow can do. It can skull fuck your mind. You know what that means? <laughs> Yo, I forgot about that shit. Oh yeah. He already disengaged the the hailing uh, <laughs> message thing. <laughs> Hey, when are you gonna do that? She's gonna kind of like elbow James a little bit, and be like, "Yeah, fucking elbow dick, right?" Can you pen me in for that shit? Because I might want to like cooperation with you, knowing the next bed over. That's really weird, James, and I wish you wouldn't have said it. <laughs> we were having a moment there, and you just ruined it. You better be careful, or a hacker might um, control <laughs> your, <laughs> your elbow cock in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> Your elbow cock is mine. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Well, we got to go find Brantley, right? Hey, yo, where's uh where's our manager? He was going to arrange that shit. Uh, you see Thorn back there like raising his hand. Our <laughs> NU manager. Here's the thing. Um, oh, wait, that would be really cool, actually. Like, six-string basses, and he raps a little bit? I'm in. Never mind. <laughs> you look back to see uh, Starlet still, like, kind of tending to him and, and stuff, and, uh, like, kind of patting a, a damp cloth on his forehead. And But he still, like, kind of raised his hand, and he starts to, to stand up. Hey, yo, pal, hey. Thorny. Yeah. You ever find Brantley Swinton? Uh, yeah, uh, wait. I almost got it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Your one job, literally the only job you had, remember that? Well, no, you had to negotiate with Randy Pound. Hey, you, that's right, you did good there. Well, no, I don't think he ever did it. Oh, I remember Randy Pound. Whatever happened to him? Um, I think he was a little Randy and he got pounded. That's <laughs> 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 so stupid. <laughs> What an ironic ending. (laughs) I think you mean fitting. (laughs) No, you didn't find Brantley? No, I I feel like I know it. It's just, uh, where was the last place we saw him? On, like, it was a video or something. My mind's still a little foggy, like... Okay, Thorn, Thorn, we went through all of the video. You and I did it together. Right? And you were supposed to take that still image that we saw that had the the background, and you were going to go and try and figure out where that image was from, correct? Wait a minute. You and I did it together? Uh, yes! <laughs> Thorny, 
Not sex, you fuck. <laughs> oh, man. This cat's got the memory of me. No, I still don't remember you. Yo, he was gonna... He had fake band members that looked like us. You were supposed to locate him so we could go kill this The mother. snow. Yes. He's on uh, the Alpine Ring or the Galactic Central Point. Oh. Well, that's convenient. That's where we're going. Kind of, right? I just had a thought. I don't know how far this shit is because I have no concept of geography when it comes to space. I wonder if it'd be faster if we hijacked this continent ship and it's black hole technology. We can't... Cut... We can't hijack it, James. You know, you know what? I don't know. We made friends in high places. We got a lot of scientists. Let me put friends. this into terms that you can understand, James. No drivey continent ship. No worky. Big broken. <laughs> oh, man, it's big broken. <laughs> <laughs> yup, it's big broken. I wish the scientists would talk like that. I'd be able to figure that shit out better. <laughs> MO5 chimes in. Why don't you use this ship's warp drive? That, that's the plan, honey bear. We don't got the technology with the black hole, you know what I'm saying? That shit sounds Shut cool as fuck. James. James. A warp drive is a warp drive is a warp drive. It'll be fine. Warp is cool. This mm, then got that black hole tied to it. Black hole right, sounds okay. like. Yeah, no, that sounds like a thing. Yep. Real shit. Yeah, sounds... no, real shit. I don't know what it is, but I heard that shit. I don't either. Yeah, no, heard that shit. Can you, okay, can you put it into terms that I would understand? Like big broke or whatever you said? Yeah, of course. Okay. So, <laughs> the giant sucky machine. Yo! No sucky anymore. <laughs> Yo! It's probably not what I was thinking, was it? No, you definitely <laughs> can't put your penis in it. <laughs> no, you should try. Absolutely, go give it a shot. After we get the well, operation, I. Right? Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna use your elbow cock on it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Once it starts working again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to go find Brantley Swinton. It's going to take us how long? Do we need to go into hypersleep? Uh, yeah, definitely we need to go into hypersleep. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Whatever happened to Jeeves? He's Oh, he was an M. Oh, we put him. Oh, he got shot. Fuck, I just had it all flash before my eyes. <laughs> I'm going to try and repair him, James. Okay? I'm. Let me put on the autopilot. And now that we're positive that we're not going to get blown the fuck up. Sorry, now that we're positive that no one's going to go shoosty shoe at us, that, that, you know, gives me an opportunity to fix your stupid puck. Nah, I forgot about that last episode. You were going to repair Jeeves. Yeah, copacetic? I don't know what that is. Big OKs? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why she's better at lyrics than you are. <laughs> <laughs> We totally need a t-shirt that says Big Sucky Machine. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to email Maddie about it? Because I do not want to be the one. <laughs> hey, Maddie, we need help designing a shirt that says Big Sucky Machine. What do you think should be the graphic on it? <laughs> hey, could you guys never contact me again and find a different host for your store? That would be great. Thanks. <laughs> Are you kidding? Maddie would eat that up. I, 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 <laughs> Maddie, we need a shirt with a big black hole. <laughs> that says, big sucky machine broke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the sucky machine is broke. No, I want it to be a McDonald's drive through window that just says sucky machine out of order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm glad we're pa we're planning our merch on the podcast while we're recording it. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Good. I I'm here for it. I'm here for that. I would buy that shirt. Not wear it, but I'd buy it. Oh, I would wear it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Even better, we should make shirts that just say "I'm with Sucky Machine" and an arrow pointing to the left. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know why I'm such an idiot tonight. <laughs> I don't know about going back into hyper sleep, hyper sleep after experiencing what I did in the tank there and vomiting everywhere. Okay, well, it's going to be six months before we get there. So I guess if you want to play tic-tac-toe with yourself for six months, feel free. Oh, hey, you still have your, like, machine to play Tiki Cross on the road, right? Like, Well, first of all, that cartridge is broken. All I have is prison bomber. You can go play prison bomber. But I ain't gonna play that <laughs> shit for six bomber. <laughs> But you gotta fix Jeevy's before we go to sleep, right? Jeevy's gotta pilot this shit. Um, James, I don't know if you know this, but you're not actually help when it comes to repairing things. So you could technically go to sleep and not annoy me. Hey, I think I figured out something if you want me to help. <laughs> Apparently not. Because <laughs> Tim just left the channel. Oh, uh, that got in a bad Sorry, a apparently time. Discord booted me the instant that you start talking to me, Kim. My bad. <laughs> I was offering to help in character, but, you know, it's <coughs> That was some Looney Tune shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you if you want to help. Well, you know, I can get it myself, but of course it will go faster with another person. I can give it a shot. I think I kind of figured some stuff out when I was helping uh, ML5 there. Oh yeah, did you level up mm. your shooting? I did. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> I also leveled up electronics. That was very meta, James. <laughs> J- James is going to prep for hyper sleep. Okay. J- James would know that um, hypersleep literally takes like two seconds. You get in the tube, it closes, I, no, no, and then I, you're asleep. I gotta brush my teeth and put on my pajamas. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna go grab the toolbox and sit down at the table and start seeing what's going on with GVs. Okay. I'm wearing stripy pajamas, and they're uh, actually real merch from 1980s that are prison bomber pajamas. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so roll me a, um, <laughs> I'll say it's a bigger roll for your jammies. Oh, what? Okay. I didn't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, a bigger roll? Yeah. A bigger roll. Well, got the pop. Oh, oh. Son of a bitch, stop rolling off. Oh. 11. Okay, they're actually clean. <laughs> okay. I was hoping they were going to be once. full of poopy. Or <laughs> cum. <Yeah>. Or both. <laughs> well, cum I mean, they, jammies. even with the whatever he got, they're, they're still full of cum, but he didn't poop like all down the stripes or anything. Stop making I'll up I'll come anywhere for I want. <laughs> Come in the ceiling, come in my jammies. <laughs> come on the ceiling. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, so with you two that are trying to fix um, Jeevesies, a uh, mm-hmm. little puck thing. Um, I get a plus two from Kim helping. All right. And it, it'll be repair for this thing. Oh, that's it's fine, too. Repair. I have that as well. Yeah. I'm even better at that, actually. Um, so 8 plus 2 is a 10. Okay, you you actually do quite well, and this takes um, roughly about an hour, and it's uh, kind of tedious, um, you know, with these things, the uh, connectors inside are very small. I keep taking pictures and handing Allison screws as I'm doing it. <laughs> Um, do you do okay. the thing like where, where um, you get her to pad your uh, the sweat off of your brow, like God a, damn a right. nurse in surgery? No, uh, <laughs> no. Charlie's having Charlie's having her hold the flashlight, and then he yells at her when she <laughs> shines the wrong thing. And so, uh, yeah, like after a, a little bit, like about an hour, um, you start to hear the the voice come back on it. You don't see any projection yet or anything. But uh, you start to hear, um, hello, I'm ready to take control. Sir, 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 sir,
<laughs> yeah, it does that too. <laughs> oh shit! And she'll like adjust a few more things, and uh, then once Ow. Jeeves is back to normal, <laughs> she'll set the puck on the driver's seat. Jeeve, 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 right. Jeeves headroom. You you don't see any um, any display yet or anything. You just hear the voice. Um, you can continue um, re- like another round of repairing if you'd like to try to get that to show up, but it's at least functional. Absolutely, Smurfly. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get it fully repaired. We have time. Okay. Are you gonna help me again, Allison? Sure. All right, don't. I mean, I'm just gonna go sleep after this, so might as well. Well, that one's a nine, seven plus two. Okay. Yeah. Um. And sure enough, like the the visual starts to flicker on, and um, until you have it like actually on the the body thing, um, it appears as like a whole person, just like a really small person. And then uh, once you put it onto the uh, the the ship's like sort of body thing that folds back up into the seats when it's not in use. Um, then it turns into the regular size head. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Thank you for repairing me. Yeah, well, you know, I gotta be good for something, right? Sure thing, boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're better than James at most, so, you know. James is a good friend of mine. Yo, can I go to sleep yet? I'm ready for bed. Shut the fuck up, James, and also please shut the tube. For the love of God, and all things holy. Shut the fucking tube. I don't remember which button it was. I'm going to go ahead and hit the button on the cockpit and just uh, go ahead and close it up on him and send him in hy- hyper sleep. Ah, <laughs> my finger! You don't even get through the... <laughs> you don't even get through saying my finger before you're asleep. Oof, ouchie, my pee-pee. <laughs> hey, if his, if his pee-pee was out, that's his fault. <laughs> I mean, they can reattach it. They can give you an elbow dick. They can reattach his pee-pee. It's fine. They probably shouldn't put it on his elbow, though. It's not impressive enough to have out in the open, you know? <laughs> he just fucking bleeds out in hypersleep. <laughs> well, your body is no longer in animation, so it wouldn't wouldn't bleed there's at all. No, yeah, there's no bleeding. Oh, weird. Gross, also. But also, clean. I hate you. I hate you so goddamn much. <laughs> okay, well, if if that's all you needed from me, I think I will go hit the hyper sleep chamber too. Okay, I'm gonna just hang out for a little while longer. I'll get in the tube eventually. Oh, okay. You don't need any company? <laughs> <laughs> there will be no tube sex scenes in this arc. Please. Who said what? Where did that come from, Brian? It just, it just sounded like it was going that direction. <laughs> to be fair, I read it that way too. I, we're gonna it have sound, to. We're gonna have to pull the. You the worked s- that screwdriver really well. Your fingers are so dexterous. You should see me once I get an elbow dick. There was a couple times where their hands touch, like while the. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull out the skin smearing ag- against the glass sound effect again. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why did I love you, that you tried to say that? Time? Because Chris made us all get in this phone booth bank. What do you call those things? The shoot. The- sucky yeah, the tube. tube. Oh, oh right, I remember. <laughs> the sucky machine. <laughs> <laughs> the other sucky machine, of course. The pneumatic uh. sucker. The, the dude, the future has so many sucky machines. <laughs> <laughs> what if everything's a sucky machine? It's a, it's called sucky punk. It's a genre. Do you know why everything's a sucky machine? The fucking patriarchy, okay? <laughs> Rage against the sucky machine. <laughs> Suck you, I won't do what you tell me. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I mean, if women were in control, what would they be? Licky machines? (laughs) 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 
Uh. Okay. Well, I will let you be. I'm going to go to Hyber sleep then. All right, cool. I'm going to go hit up ML5 for some drugs. Uh, of course. Righteous, man. Have a good sleep. Yep, Allison, uh, you head to your tube and, um, you know, Beep close boop. it without, uh, you know, consequence and go right to sleep. And, uh, yeah, you, um, Charlie, you go up to MO5. Uh, Charlie does not do that, actually. Charlie is going to sit <gasps> down and she is going to reflect on the fact that once Brantley Swinton is dead, there's a really good chance that she's never going to see these people again. Um, did you set course um, before you started working on Jeeves and all that kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all that okay. stuff's taken care of. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, yeah, you, you go to sit down and you um, start thinking about that. And um, then you start to hear a proximity alert go off on the dash of the ship. She's going to go up and uh, check it out. What's going on, Jeevy? Um, you get up there and uh, you see like a, you know, kind of bright dot on the horizon looks kind of like a, a star in the sky and it just gets uh, brighter and brighter and it's like coming really 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 fast um, because you're going really 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 fast and um, he says uh, well we're almost here ma'am wait what this warp drive something isn't it that's really weird why would they replace our warp drive you didn't have a warp drive before that's why it took so long to get everywhere. Like, this was an upgrade. Oh. Okay, so Charlie is 100% going to wait a little while, and when she reanimates everybody, she's going to pretend like it's been forever. <laughs> like, cut her hair and stuff, and... <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. Like, yup, absolutely. Like, anything that she can do to make sure that this mistake is not known by anybody other than her. <laughs> And so she'll go and open up James's uh, tube first, and she'll be like, Hey, sleepyhead. You sound like a dying seal. <laughs> <sighs> oh, where am I? We're here? Where? James, you're now bleeding all over the place. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, I shot- I thought that shit was a dream! What shit? I cut my finger, homie! Oh, well you should probably get the first aid kit. I'm gonna go wake up Allison. Fuck! I've probably been bleeding for like... Three years now, huh? Probably not. But maybe. I hear that if you poop your own pants that you gain blood back. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I'm just gonna try and do a discreet look back behind me. <laughs> do some leg shakes. <clears throat> Are you trying to shake one out? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to see if there is one to shake out. I'm going to go and wake up Allison. All right. Good morning, Starshine. The world says hello. Oh, hi. Are we there? We are. I, I, we go kill somebody now, eh? I mean, something like that, yeah. Okay. Well... I, do I, like, coming out of Hiver sleep, do I need, nothing's been moving molecular, molecularly, so I'm probably fine in the same state I went to sleep in, right? Yeah, because these are the, the newest type of Hiver sleep things. They're, they're not like the actual frozen cryotubes or anything like the, um, the thing that happened before. Yeah, and, and also, you've literally only been in there for probably a minute or two. I know, but I would be thinking that I would need, yeah. you know, normal whatever stuff. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. these tubes are a lot better than those other ones used to be. Hey, you know what's weird? What's weird, James? It doesn't smell as musty as it normally does when I come out of the Hyba chambers. I did a little cleaning first, James. Also, um, James and uh, Allison, roll a notice check for me. I don't have Benny that actually. Eight. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. After two Bennies, I got a 24. <laughs> okay. Was it worth it? 
Uh, I don't think so, but uh, what'd you get, uh, Allison? <laughs> I got an eight. Okay, yeah, so both of you um, notice quite easily that uh, <laughs> Thorn and Starlet are still in that uh, recliner where Starlet is sort of um, trying to, you know, <laughs> get him up to health and everything. And um, and there's still, like, water all over, like, you know, sogging, uh, making the, the shag carpet all soggy and everything. And uh, that, that one capsule is still, like, tipped over on the on the floor in here and everything like that and so yeah it doesn't seem like time has really passed much at all since uh you guys went into hypersleep everything is just as i remember it i thought you said you cleaned that's still really gross over there you've been sick for a long time there thorny how you doing what well, um I, i'm doing fine this has been a really weird like few minutes guys <laughs> um I'm still trying to follow what's going on. Hey, Thorn, what a long, strange trip it's been. I agree. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, you know what? I don't really care. We just need to go do what we're going to do, right? Let's go. Right, exactly. Thorny Jones, you better watch your speed. So, how do you guys want to do this? Well, mo- usually my plans consist of just following you around. You know what I'm saying? Oh. No, that's a fair point. Allison? I, I guess the first thing is to figure out exactly where he is, right? We we know this planet, but beyond that... Well, like... he, has, he has a house here. I know that. I think we've been there before. So, probably check there first and kind of go from there. Do we want to yeah, be, like, shooty-shooty? Or do we want to be, like... Oh, hey, manager guy. We're going to buddy up and poison you. Well, so I'm kind of thinking that James here is a moron. I'm not thinking that. I know that. And so he's probably going to blow our cover, so we should probably just go in there guns blazing, right? You know, you say that, but I just had a thought, and I might prove you wrong here. Okay. Yeah, no, perfect. Please, tell me. What if Brantley died of old age while we was in hypersleep just now? I fucking hate you, James. Right, so guns blazing. Yep, guns blazing. So in the middle of your conversation, all of a sudden, everybody hears, like, a big, like, metallic-sounding, uh, thunk, followed by, like, a sort of, uh, winding down noise. Like a... Jeeves! Jeeves, what the fuck is that? Um, I'm not sure, ma'am. Um... It's something is definitely not a okay. You might want to come check it out. All right. She's going to rush up there. All right. And um, as you get up there, you will notice that um, like the ship is no longer moving. Um, and, and even though because of the way that warp drives work, it wasn't technically moving before, just space around it was moving. But uh, you guys are just like. Um, kind of dead in the air there and, and like sort of uh, suspended space you see that um, you're very close to the system um, which is a like system of uh, concentric like ring worlds that all like go around a um, a you know smaller thing in the center and um, like you're close to the outermost one and then you're you're basically coming up to um like what you would know is the the space customs sort of thing but you're not quite there the ship has stopped like right before getting there and um so close it's it's pretty almost annoying and you can see that um there's like a a wave of red um that has emitted from the ship and like you can see that like as that uh that wave like hits the atmosphere of the ring it's like causing like auroras and stuff to happen uh, Charlie's going to get on the comms and say, uh, Space Shuttle Challenger, uh, come in, do you copy? This is Space Shuttle Challenger. You hear nothing. And then you say, um, here, um, Jeeves, go, uh, I've been trying to contact them, ma'am. Um, I, I've heard nothing. I, I've been trying to hail for, uh, as soon as we were in proper distance. Okay. 
I'm gonna try and override it then, and we are shooting our way through. Sounds good, Jeeves? James is currently on his seventh band-aid trying to get this on his finger with one. <laughs> okay. Roll a um a uh health. Or healing is what it is. Hey yo, if you if you're gonna shoot your way through, can I be on the guns again? No. Nope, you can't. Jeeves is gonna fly, and I'm gonna shoot. Do, do we know, or can I tell from where I am in the ship kind of what's landed on us, or do I have any kind of idea? Um, you can go to any number of the um, portholes and look outside. I do that. And then, um, yeah, then roll a bit, um, a notice. notice. Yeah, that's right. 11 for band-aids. That's a 3 for a notice. Okay. So, yeah, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Um, and, uh, James, um, yeah, your your band-aid finally works. Yeah, finally got it, motherfucker. Is there a space suit in here? Um, yeah, you have several. They're in, like, a compartment in the back and probably not, um, you know, stored completely properly, but th- they still work. I'm gonna put one on and do an EVA. All right. So, um... Yeah, as you, let's see, um, go ahead and roll me a notice check before, like, on your way out. I would like to point out that I raised my notice so I can pick up these sixes. All right. All right. <laughs> That's four. You defeated the big bad. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've oh, officially man. won. So, uh... We don't need to keep playing anymore. It's fine. <laughs> Tim, Tim did it. <laughs> Uh, you head back to the uh, compartment where you keep the the EVA suits, and um, as you're opening the door for it, you just happen to glance over. You see a flashing red light coming from the newly installed uh, warp engine. Is there any sort of in- indication for what it may what it uh, means? As you go to it, um, you you would notice that uh, it's like a, a sort of um, fuel warning light and uh it has run out of fuel oh shit do i know what the fuel is uh you let's see yeah i'll give you a a sporting chance um so roll for i'm gonna say weird science motherfucker (laughs) (laughs) i do not know if i have that one i have to check (laughs) The big bad is bad. <laughs> as soon as you said that, I looked down at that gif. Bro, I have a fucking D4 in this, you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Chris. I didn't even get out a D4 because I thought I was done with that shit. I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Cocksucking piece of shit, fucking D4, motherfuckers. <laughs> Benny makes it a five. All right. So, uh, yeah, you actually were able to, um, to glance this knowledge off as you were kind of like, um, going through the, uh, the college there back on the United States of America. And, um, their, their warp technology is based on, uh, microscopic black holes. And so um, what they do with them is they keep them tiny because these tiny black holes emit um, Hawking radiation. And then um, they just can shoot material into them to have them emit more um, Hawking radiation out. And it's a very efficient, um, pretty strong uh, way of of going. Unfortunately, um, in the last episode during your escape, um, you guys put the power on full blast and never turned it back down. And so um, it used up all of its fuel on the way here and couldn't quite make it into the atmosphere. So technically we would still be able to um, to drive it, just not at warp. Well, there's no other engines anymore. The engines were oh, replaced. Fucking piece of shit. For fuck's fuck sake, fucking... man. Next thing you know, he's going to be making us keep track of ammunition. <clears throat> not in Savage Worlds. That's not how the rules work. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Do we have sails for solar winds? Um, 
Yeah, uh, I'll say no on, on that one. Okay. Well, then I'm going to start working on uh, converting our engine into negative ion. Okay. Which, while it will not be as fast, not even close, until it gets up to speed, it will still get us enough propulsion that we should be able to get into the atmosphere at the very least, or into the gravitational pull. Okay. I'm so glad we have a Mary Sue. Well, um, you would probably know that you are close enough that you are in gravitational pull right now. So it's kind of the waiting game? Or can I Calvin Harris this shit? Um, roll me a, uh, research check. All right. Because if you tell me I can Calvin Harris this shit, I'm going to do it. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, 12. Okay. So, um, you do a quick, uh, back of the envelope calculation and, um, you do think that you could, um, get this engine kind of working on an alternative fuel um that you'd have uh still on board from the the old you know fuel source for the old engines um but yeah you notice that um you are technically falling towards the ring and the ring is you know in a motion coming towards you and so um it's gonna be less time before you just hit the ring than um than you know getting any engines to work how uh, how far into the atmosphere would you say we are at this point? The atmosphere on rings are kind of weird. It's um, kind of lopsided to where the atmosphere on the outside of the ring is very thin. Um, and it keeps most of the thick atmosphere like in the, the center, like in the rotational mass. You're technically like uh, going to be in the atmosphere very quickly. Um, but there's not going to be really, uh, much, uh, arrow breaking that's going to happen. Did you give me a specific amount of footage, uh, footage though? Um, at these scales, it's kind of weird to go on footage. Would you say that it's less than 30,000 feet? Yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. I am 100% going to put a parachute on in the EVA suit and I'm making the jump. Okay. And I'm going, well, first I'm going to explain to everybody what I'm planning on doing. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So here's the thing. Uh, we're currently on what might be a collision course. And, well, we have EVA suits. Um, do we have enough for everybody? Yep. Okay. And so I know that this seems like a really terrible idea, but I'm thinking we should jump. I'm sorry. Jump? Where? Yeah. Uh to the planet. I don't handle free fall all that well, homie. We should totally jump. Luckily for you, I can be the one that enacts your parachute, not you. Oh, I trust you. Fair enough. Well, Felix Baumgartner did it. We should be fine. Why can't we just, you know, like, power up the ship again? Like, what what happened? Because the problem is, is by the time I can get the ship back running on an alternative fuel source... We're already on a collision course, and I'm not positive that we'll be able to land safely. Oh. You know, the whole crashy ship thing, bad. That's for James. Hey, thanks, Charlie. No problem. I got you, homie. I wasn't freaking out before, but now I'm kind of freaking out. Yeah, you probably should be. It's not a good thing. Right. uh, Charlie is going to go and get Thorn and Starlet and say... This is going to seem insane. Just go ahead and put on the suit. It'll be fine. Maybe. I think. As you approach Starlet, you notice that, like, she's getting just brighter and brighter. And, like, um, so, like, it's getting to where, like, you kind of have to squint to look at her. Yo, I just edited this episode. Okay, I know what's going on with her. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) The further she gets from her star... Or the closer, I don't know which, the more that something happens to her. No, that's really helpful, James. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, I wish I could remember the details on that shit. <laughs> I could. I wish I, I wish you could too, bud. But, you know, them's the breaks. So the closer she gets to her star, she takes more of her form back? Or the opposite. James doesn't know. Yo, Jeeves, are we closer or farther from Starlet's star? 
Um, I don't have anything in the logs that says Starlet Star. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Sounds a boot root. So anyway, we uh, jumping out of the ship or what? Sure. Might as well. James? As long as you got me, homie. I trust you. I, I got you, homie. I'm not going to let you die. I couldn't insult you then. That's a good point right there. And she will go uh, to trying to help uh, James and Allison and Starlet and Thorn suit up before we make the jump then. All right. And um, this will take roughly about like an hour. Um, for, oh, I'm not surprised like, to get at everybody all. In the, yeah. And then um, so you all uh, get outside. Uh, obviously, MO5 doesn't need one. So he just walks out with a big smile on his face. I will grab and, GV's puck, too, before we jump. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to need to know how much of a sense of height do we get when we look down? Compared, you know, like when if you were on Earth and you look down and be like, oh, fuck. Well, you're not going to get any sense because Charlie is going to push you the instant that you get to the <laughs> fucking ledge. <laughs> <laughs> well, that answers my next question. <laughs> All right. And so, uh,. Yeah, you you open the door and uh, James, you immediately get pushed out, <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> and then um, everyone else uh, gets up to the door and, and starts to you know follow uh, in a lot more like sort of easy way of doing it, <laughs> not tumbling Charlie and everything will, like that. Charlie will jump out and just yell "Allons-y!" and that'll be the uh... <laughs> okay. So um, yeah, and so. You all, you all jump out and um, uh, <laughs> so you didn't expect you, this to be the route we go, huh? No, but I love how this is going to go because it's um, you'll love this. All right, so um, when when it, you came out of uh, warp, you the, the the ship itself isn't moving. It's just now in the the gravitational influence of um, of the system. And uh, kind of near the ring world that, that has the, the customs office and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and, and you're starting to then fall towards it at the, the speed of, you know, just the normal gravity acceleration. Because you're not in orbit around it. You're just literally falling towards it. Just like if you <laughs> jumped off the ground, you fall towards it back to the ground. Um, only this is like such a, you know, thin thing. It gets its gravity from its spin on the other side of it and you guys are on the outside of it so there's very little gravity that just like pulls you in towards it from this direction (laughs) and so you jump out you all and the ship are all falling at the same speed (laughs) because there's very little air to slow (laughs) any of you down (laughs) so it's basically just like a spacewalk to where you go out the doors and you're all just kind of hanging there (laughs) I would like to point out that I expected all of us to have parachutes, though, so eventually when we pull them, we will slow down from the Challenger. Yep. You know, this isn't making me as sick as I thought it would. Yep, you, you see this thing, and it's basically just like a, a big, long thing that goes off into the horizon <laughs> in every direction. <laughs> that means char- <laughs> that means that means Charlie pushed me, and I just wily coyoted and <laughs> just sat there. Flailed. <laughs> Oh man, that, that's another T-shirt we need. I just wily coyoted. <laughs> I don't even know how you'd spell that. <laughs> just coyote with a D at the end. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw a picture of a coyote with a big dong. Yeah, I hate you so much. <laughs> and uh, you you can feel the fall, but it is super slow. And, and like it's um, it's kind of annoyingly slow. <laughs> just keep on going and going. Charlie's gonna and, get on the comms and go. I would like to point out that normal planets do not act in this fashion. So, whoops. <laughs> and eventually, uh, you get to the point where um, you instruct everyone to to pull their shoots. And they do. And um, the bags... I am going to virtually pull James's shoot for him because I do not trust him to do it. <laughs> okay, are you going to do his first? Yep. Okay. I can say one thing, Charlie. You didn't let me down. I mean, you did, but very, very slowly. 
So uh, you you have no idea. Yeah, you um, <laughs> press the <laughs> the parachute release <laughs> on his uh, chute, and the flap just sort of unbuckles, and like nothing happens. It's just sitting there in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and so you then have to reach in with your hand and start literally spooling it out. <laughs> and like trying to unfold it. And you just, all of you just keep on going down. And eventually you see it start to kind of just vaguely fill up as, you know, just uh, occasional particles are, are hitting the inside of it and everything very slowly. <laughs> And then all of you start to open your own shoots, and it's a very super slow process. Brace your shells! <laughs> and uh, over the next <laughs> about 30 minutes or so, you just see the ground getting closer and closer and closer <laughs> as you're falling. And uh, eventually all your shoots are open, and you start to kind of go slower than the, the ship. And uh, you see it being like about 20 meters um in front of you and then it's like 40 meters in front of you and then about like 50 meters in front of you and then you see it just like hit the surface but it doesn't cause any damage to the ship that it hits so slow <laughs> and then you all just kind of float down uh, after it um, over a few minutes and just like very softly touch the ground and you are at the uh, at the customs um, area for the galactic central point well, you saved us again, Charlie. Shut up, James. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why don't you all roll a notice check for me? Ha! Four. <coughs> seven. All right. So uh, four, seven, and eight. So yeah, you all notice. There's like uh, a lot of evidence of um, of what looks to be like a, a firefight down here. But then also evidence of um, of graffiti like everywhere, <laughs> like that says um, either Aldrin's or Growlers, and um, a lot of the times that it says either of those, the the words in are. A city? Well, you're in the uh, the customs um, in in orbit enforcement oh. section of the outside of the furthest most ring from the system, which is the Alpine Ring. The big airport, airport looking thing or something. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And um, it seems like all the the ships in this area are derelict. Um, there's nobody around, and there's just a lot of evidence of you know like um, laser scoring on a bunch of surfaces and oh. graffiti everywhere. There's, Rifle out. Um, the po- post-apocalyptic yep. airport. Yep. Um, and all the graffiti. It said like either Aldrin's or. Uh, or growlers and um, a lot of times there'd be one and it would be like crossed out and then have another one written over it and stuff and uh, yeah it looked like there was definitely some crazy riots going on. I'm a really big fan of the fact that somehow we've created a gang. I know I probably shouldn't be but this is the shit your lawyer was talking about. Yeah well Darth Maul tends to blow things out of proportion. I didn't know he was telling the truth. Yeah, this looks bad. Well, they can't shoot us. We was part of the Growlers and the Aldrins. We're on both sides, so we always come out on top. We're n- <laughs> we're definitely not on both sides, uh, James. Uh, we're, we're only on the Growlers' side because the Aldrins now are fake. Remember? Oh yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah, yep, definitely the whole thing. <laughs> it's kind of the rub. Oh yeah, that's the arc we're playing. Yeah, no, definitely the arc. All right, and so um, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm following suit. I'm pulling my guns out too. Yeah, you also notice that um, just pretty much landing on the building of the the customs building, there's a huge white Nova class cruiser that has uh, the Sisters of Mercy written on it, and it's kind of uh, teetering at an angle. Is that another band? Do we know what that means? Yeah, do we? Um, roll a uh. A research check to see if you remember anything. That doesn't even ring a bell in all of my editing. Five. Three. Four. Okay, so um, James and Allison, you both remember hearing um, uh, like just a random little tag on a, a news briefing 
in this would have been like months ago when you guys were on the uh miss jackson yeah and it, it was that um a sisters of mercy um uh ship was stolen on its way to um to the uh iridium system and uh they were going down there to um help with the cannibalism crisis what the and fuck? it was stolen <laughs> And it was suspected to be stolen by Florida Man. Dude, but we don't know what Sisters of Mercy is. It's uh, like a sort of nun mm. kind of thing. Like That's written on a ship? Mission. Yep. Why does that sound familiar? I swear I've heard well, that. Well, they're, they're the, those people that go help, right? That's right. But like, one of their ships was stolen Yo. or something. Yeah. That's all coming back to me now. Yo! They was dealing with cannibals or some shit. Right. The real question, though, James, is how do we get a meeting with Florida Man? Maybe he's head of the cannibals now. I don't know, but if there's anything that any of us have in common with a guy from Florida, well... Did you guys just say Florida Man? Yeah, what if it's Fred Durst? <gasps> no, that's that's like bad news. That's... That guy's like, you know, trying to. Fuck, man. I'm still like all fucked up in the head. They hate my family. <laughs> the Floridians, man. Like, they. Oh, the gun runners. Yeah. That's their leader. Okay, but here's the thing that you need to know about men from Florida, Thorny. They want raised trucks, they like Confederate flags, and Leonard Skinner. And toilet paper. If you when can get on those things, yeah, toilet paper. They like toilet paper for sure, but definitely Leonard Skinner. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. They they probably also like their competition to be like you know dead guys. I have a. But here's the thing. Have, no. Wait, here's the thing, Thorny. Shut the fuck up, James. Please. All right. I know. The Freebird solo, note for note, Thorn. Florida man cannot kill Leonard Skinner. It is their kryptonite. They have no choice but to dance and drink bush light. We need to become a Leonard Skinner cover band. We need a new name. Hmm. Hmm. I hope you're right. The Skin Yards. Will be no. Bernard. Bernard. Bernard Kinyard. <laughs> it's so stupid. Ep- Bernard Epidermis. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Bernard Epidermis. That's our new Skin- Leonard Skinner cover band name. Okay. If I leave here tomorrow. So, which one was it? The the Bernard Kinyard or the um Bernard Epidermis. We're gonna go with epidermis right now just to make him happy, and then epidermis. later we'll forget it and go back to Kinyard and retcon. <laughs> that is one thousand percent the way this goes. Yes. <laughs> or we'll come up with something completely different that's nowhere close to anything anybody said. That says Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> Maynard James Epidermis. <laughs> Bernard? Sorry. Oh, no, I said Bernard. <laughs> That's spelled like Bernard. So Yeah, you know. but with Y's okay, for all the great. vowels. <laughs> Bernard. Bernard. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> Kim se- keeps saying Nard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do like Nards. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, New cover fuck. band. I'm into it. Can we open with Give Me Back My Bullets? Oh, you're. Th- oh, yeah. Oh. Absolutely. I only know one yeah, I mean, song. you don't lead with Freebird. Wait, you only know one Leonard Skinner song? I'm not from Florida. But you lived in Florida, James. Yeah, but I mostly studied all of I their- don't feel like I even know you anymore. <laughs> you only know one Leonard Skinner song, and I was in a band with you? <laughs> you know Sweet Home Alabama. Come on. Oh, shit. He wrote that shit? Okay, he knows, too. Thank God he knows, too. <laughs> While you were listening to Leonard Skinner, I was practicing the blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, Sweet Home was the first song I learned on guitar. 
Right. That's actually pretty impressive so. if that's the first song you ever learned on guitar. <laughs> I use the term learned loosely. Anyway, so are you guys, uh, you, you would know because you've been in this system before um, that like you have to go through customs to get to the other side of the ring, which is the, the habitable side. Yeah, I mean, we're heading that way and we have our guns out and we're ready to shoot anybody that tries to stop us. All right. So as you head that way. Nuns out, guns out. That was a sister's joke. Uh Uh-huh. Florida man, take me by the hand, take me to the land. Florida man. Don't you understand? Go down, Florida man. Let my people go. (laughs) What? When Florida was in Democrat control... (laughs) Let my people go. <laughs> These libtards will. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please cut that. <laughs> go down. Okay. Florida man. <laughs> we are out on the edge of this thing and we're heading towards the customs office with our guns full. Let's go. <laughs> Tell old Jefferson <laughs> Davis. <laughs> and so uh, along your way through the, the halls of the, um, the, the custom place, uh, you see just more of the graffiti every there, uh, everywhere, more, you know, signs of struggle. Um, you see like, um, like dried up blood stains. And then like, it seems like, um, the the blood would have been pulled but then like the body pulled in a certain direction usually towards like just out of the open and um but all the blood looks uh pretty well dried like nothing looks uh recent or anything well this was nasty just a little bit ago i think i know what happened do you they got the wrong ones They got the wrong ones the, of what? The Floridians. They went after the wrong fucking Aldrins. And they did our job for us. Oh, that would be I know it. I know what Brian's laughing at, and I don't want to address it. I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> God damn it, Brian, you motherfucker. I just looked at the chat, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm assuming you're laughing at the big black pothole in the center of this notebook yes. paper. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, fuck. I had too much to drink today. It's the bee hole's eye. <laughs> it's the bee hole's eye bee you want to go after. We have to go after. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, that is the the first time ever that you and I have gone after the same joke at the same time. Yeah, it feels bad. Right, super wrong. Don't ever (laughs) fucking do that to me again. I need you to go on a five-second delay before you try and make jokes from now on. (laughs) Now this is what it's like when worlds collide. All right, now we're back to normal. Thank God. (laughs) I didn't expect any Power Man 5,000 jokes tonight. (laughs) I seriously don't understand this. Is this the map of our... uh... Well, if we would let Chris talk, maybe he could explain. Okay. (laughs) Well, all of the squiggles on the side are the hands holding the butthole open. And I think we can figure out the rest. (laughs) Damn it, are you giving us goatsies? (laughs) (laughs) It's so 2002. Come on, Chris. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is what you see when you, you get into the <clears throat> the main um, sort of customs area. Like, all those things with the lines connected that are laying on the ground, those are the, um, the little stands that hold, like, the velvet rope up that people have to funnel through to get over towards the, the help desks and all that kind of stuff. And um, there's, like, an expedited lane, like, all the way over at the side where people could, you know, bypass it if they have, um, you know, special uh, permission and all that. But then there's the big welcome kiosk. They have the Six Fags Fast Pass. Yeah, exactly. And then um, there's the welcome kiosk uh, that has um, what... With, 
for the folks at home, on paper, it looks like a big black butthole. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, unfortunate choice of words there to break that sentence. Um, so, what it actually is, is just a, um, a drawing of like what the system looks like. There's like a small sort of um, the actual galactic central point in the middle. And then there's all these concentric ring worlds that surround it. And they all orbit at like different orbital planes and at uh, different speeds. And since they're all at different speeds, they're different sizes. So there's uh, smaller ones graduating up to really big ones, which they're on right now being on the farthest most one, which is the Alpine ring. In which it is that because as you get farther out from the source of the energy of a system, it's colder. And so, yep. um, yeah, as you enter this room, that is like the the very first thing you can see. And it is the, um, yeah, definitely the biggest and most um, interesting point of the room. This thing's like hovering above a table or something? Like a hologram? It, it's, yeah, it's like a hologram that's like uh, kind of like when you go to a mall and there's a map of the mall uh-huh. kind of thing. Or you go to some like attraction somewhere and they have like a sort of big board where it talks about what the attraction is kind of thing the great attraction and so uh yeah this one says galactic central point info it is the geometric center of the galaxy um all these are like different little bullet points along the the side of the thing um it's made up of trillions of orbiting vessels but set mostly apart from other systems by its assortment of concentric ring worlds um largest being the coldest outermost one the alpine ring Inside the collection of rings is a peculiar physical formation that features repulsive gravity, emits matter rather than radiation, and exhibits effects of negative density, and it causes time to speed up in relation to one's close proximity to it. These properties are used to power the system to levels far beyond those of surrounding stars, and are much less dangerous than collapsed stars, which you guys would know as black holes. In its early utilization, the inhabitants of this system were able to use, utilize its properties for instant communication across any distance by invoking a cosmic vibration in the body that would cause all other stars in the galaxy to ring in a similar fashion. This led to the first unification of all beings and the start of intergalactic civilization. Yo, Charlie, can you interpret that into James' speech? Okay, so the sides Uh are all samesies in closeness. Right? That's it? That's it. Ah, yo, I get it now. Yeah. You know, the language of Bust the Cap is so much more condensed and easier than the scientists speak. They really elaborate a lot, and it takes them a long time. Right, and you're succinct. Sorry, sorry. Shorty. (laughs) Big shorty. (laughs) So I look around. Are there people around? Uh, no. It is completely empty in here. You haven't seen a single other soul since you, um, got aboard. Sweet. So we don't need to go in guns blazing. I mean, we still could, I guess. How are we gonna find our manager in this place? Look at the size of this shit. We've been... To his house, James. <laughs> Should I repeat again, even slower? Hold on. Nah, I don't remember that. We've been <laughs> to his house before. Oh, you should have said so. Did he give us anything to eat? I feel like if he gave us something to eat, I'd remember it better. Yeah, he he, he served hors d'oeuvres. Finger sandwiches. Yo, finger sandwiches, sandwiches, I remember. remember? No, it all came back to me. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Dude, he was such a cool fucking cat back in the day. Right, when we were making him money, he liked us. Charlie, your phone starts ringing. Charlie is going to, uh, like pull her phone to the side and she's going to look at Alice and she's going to say you know for a second when you guys went into hypersleep I was a little disappointed that I might not see you guys again 
really getting over that fast and she'll answer her phone. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, and by the way, when it was ringing, like it was, it's been so silent in here since you've been in this like huge complex with nobody in it that like the ringing was like super loud and echoey off of everything. Like, by the almost way, startling. my ringtone is one hundred percent Leonard Skinner's fucking uh, Simple Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we don't have a, a copyright for that, <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> We don't need an actual no, ring. People band. know how Simple Man goes. No, it's our, it's our cover band song version of it, right? Wink. We'll yeah, cut. that too. Simple plan. <laughs> and I'm a regular type of dude. <laughs> <laughs> Living it up at the L.A. bed and breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and you recognize the sequence of numbers on the phone to be uh, Darth Maul Good... Uh, Darth Maul Goodman. She'll answer and she'll say, What's good, Darth Maul? Uh, um, Sue? Uh, Susan? Uh, are you going by Charlie? Which one is it? Um, I'm, I'm going to go by Ronnie. Ronnie Van Zandt. Okay, cool, <laughs> Ronnie. Um, so, uh, I, I think I might have come up with a way to get you off of that thing that you're on. Um, you know... Oh, I'm off. I'm off, Darth. We're good. You're off? Yeah, I'm on the Arpine ring. I'm, a, I'm about to kill Brantley. You're here. Yeah, I'm gonna kill Brantley. Well, well, that's great. Um, first of all, a uh, couple of things. Um, we have um, uh, your bandmate. Uh, her, her husband's here with me, Theodore, and um, also her friend that ran the. What was it? The the, the animal thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's enough. I'm oh, on the, the phone sanctuary. with them. Oh, uh, the sanctuary. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's sanctuary. Gotcha. Yeah, they're yelling in my ear to tell you stuff, and I, like we don't have the time for this. Um, anyways, Darth Maul, um, just tell them that I said to shut the fuck up. Just tell them that. Uh, I'll, I'll tell them after. Okay, the first thing I got to do, I got to warn you that. And then, um, as soon as he's about to tell you um, his warning, you hear a voice over all the loudspeakers in the area, and um, it says, uh, "Well, look at who we have here." Oh, Bubby, I think that I've already gotten... I'm getting the warning right now, so I'm going to have to let you go. Love you! And she'll hang up. <laughs> okay. And uh, the, it continues. Um, Look, I, I ain't got no trouble with uh, with most of you, but um, I had it on good authority that, uh, that the, the young man, Thorn, uh, is with you guys. And... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be bringing him with me if it ain't too much trouble. Here's the thing, Mr. Florida Man. I, I gotta. Can you hear me, Florida Man? Just say something if you can. I'm imagining that you're probably saying something back to me right now, and that's not the way that this kind of thing works. And so I'm just gonna leave a little pause and, and, and let you just say your piece to your heart's content, and then I, I'm gonna continue talking back in a, in a moment or so, okay? Florida Man, I've always looked up to you, okay? And while I know that you can't hear what I'm saying right now, I want to let you know that I don't want to use my elbow cock to skull fuck you to death, but I will. I will climb up onto the top rope, and I will people's elbow your eye socket to the point where your frontal lobe is penetrated. Do you understand what that means, Mr. Florida Man? I'm gonna fucking kill you. Okay, you can go. We're good. There's a, a, an incredibly long, un uncomfortable time where you were done talking, but he hasn't begun talking again yet. <laughs> so you're just kind of like all looking around at each other and like, you know, just kind of like kicking around at the ground and all that. She'll whisper to Allison while that's happening. I mean, he's still my hero. Yeah, so whatever you said just then, um, you know, you can just... Uh, you know, forget that. If it was uh, a bad thing, maybe, you know, maybe it was a good thing. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to judge on, on that alone. Um, anyway, uh, it would be really nice if you could um, just uh, bring Thorn to the Sisters Mercy ship and, um, and let us have him, um, you know, because that would be the, the easy way. Or um, if not, you know, uh, I'm going to have to, you know, come around looking and, um, you know, who knows what'll happen then. Uh, Charlie is going to look at everybody and she's going to say, 
I need all of you to go to Brantley's. I'm going to go to the ship myself. Um, you don't want to kill Brantley Swindon. You'd rather go to the ship than go to Brantley's. Allison, my hero is on that ship. And if I kill him, I can eat his heart and gain his power. Okay. I'm kidding about that part. I'm kidding about that part. You gotcha, though. Got you uh, for a you second, sure right? did. You, you, <laughs> for a second, drugs you, you I thought I was going to eat his heart? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, got you. Uh-huh, That's uh-huh, a good one. uh-huh. I guess you, you threatened to skull fuck a lot of people, but um, are you sure you don't want to do both? I mean, we could go both places, probably. So here's the thing that I have a concern about. I know that Thorn, and no offense, Thorn, so now I can say whatever I want, but Thorn is a <laughs> fucking idiot. And wow. if we bring him by the ship, that's rare. Bad things might happen. <laughs> and so, I'm kind of thinking that instead, if we just send the only one of us that is completely off the fucking rocker, maybe we might have a chance. Crazy fights, crazy. I see what you're getting at. Sure, that kind of makes sense. I suppose if you really want to, I can't stop you. But I think, like, we should all go to Brantley's, right? Because, you know, we've got the the whole manager thing. we got to go, like, take him down. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to stash Thorn. Because, again, no offense, idiot. Okay. And probably stash James, because also definitely offense, idiot. Well, I suppose... Mm. You want to agree because you know that I'm right, but also it's not nice to not include people. I get it. Well, Thorn I'm fine with. It's more that, like, if we're all going to go up against our manager, James should be there. Yeah, because I do have some thoughts on those finger sandwiches now that I'm thinking back on it. Oh, good Lord, James. No, thank God. Thank you. No, James, could you please give us those thoughts right now at the most opportune time? Here's the thing. Shut the fuck up, James. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Definitely, definitely didn't want you to actually talk. Right. Thanks, though. Love you, bud. So do you think this Florida guy can actually, like, track us? Because if we just oh, go to yeah, Brantley right? Swindon's house and the Florida guy shows up at Brantley Swindon's house, I mean, maybe we Ooh. take care of one problem with the other. I have an idea. Let's rig Brantley's house to explode, wait outside, let the Florida man go in, blow that shit all together. I like it. I like it a lot. Although I'm a little bit concerned that your Darth Maul guy has my husband. Well, Darth Maul's trustworthy. Okay. We're way more, we're way more valuable to him alive. <laughs> Well, that, well, no, like, it really, that means a lot to Darth Maul Goodman. Like, you need to understand that there is nothing more important than money to this man. And he's kept you on as a client. That's interesting. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when times were good, I guess it was fine, but. I have a certain penchant for being able to relieve people of things that may or may not belong to them. Sure, 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 sure. I mean, we've had some really good times, but I don't particularly enjoy, you know, the larceny and theft and and all that, but... Oh, could have fooled me. You seemed like you were having a lot of fun, Allison. I'm just throwing that out there. You know, it, it's not the traffic cone, good times, right? <laughs> what about... Okay, minor theft. What about theft. when we created the distra- distraction put our ad on all the screens on Miss Jackson. Pretty dope, right? You have some skills. They're very interesting. But, um... She'll finger guns you. If I could get back home, that would be fantastic. I don't think I'm gonna get there. Allison? Great Britain. My ally. My friend. (laughs) What? I'm gonna get you to where you need to be. Okay? I mean, you got us this far, I guess. I didn't really think we would actually make it here, so. 
Allison, if you want to be back with Ted, I got you. We'll see. I, I mean, he did fall for an imposter, so... I don't know if I want to be back with him completely. But hopefully it was just a mistake. You should get with your imposter. James! Shut the fuck up, James. Yeah, I'm gonna go with what Allison said. Now I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> great. Damn it, Good, James. great, grand. I'm anyway. This... <laughs> gross. <laughs> Just gross. Honestly, we it a... really isn't surprising that your new band is all men. Charlie! If we come across Impasta James, you could cut his ding dong off, put it on your elbow, and then you and I could have the same ding dong. I was kind of thinking of something bigger, but okay. <laughs> So, like, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, like, are we splitting up? And then if we are, am I going with uh, with you or am I going with you? Thorn, you would not be coming with me. No. If we decide to split, it's going to be me trying to go John Rambo. Okay. They drew first blood, Thorn. They drew first blood. I'm not understanding any of this. So John Rambo came back from Vietnam and he... <laughs> <laughs> he got in trouble with the law. <laughs> Brian Denny, he was not a very good sheriff. <laughs> a second. <laughs> we we killed we killed him. <laughs> He's slain. Oh fuck. <laughs> so, okay, either Sorry. Charlie is going to go shoot the fuck out of Florida man or we're all going to go to Brantley Swindon's. And we would go to Brantley Swindon's without her. Or we're all going to go there and rig his house with explosives and blow, hopefully, Florida Man and Brantley up at the same time. Ultimately, what the fuck do we care about Florida Man? You know what I'm saying? Like, our ultimate goal was Brantley. We should focus our energy on that. Okay, but also, I feel like only Fred Durst gets the title of Florida Man. So whoever this fucking chuckle fuck is, is a piece of shit that I kind of need to do bad things to. I, I'm just kind of concerned that maybe it was just like a throw in bad guy, kind of like Wonder Woman. <laughs> okay. I want to Could follow. Be. Well, no, I think either we're all going to go together. I think we should just all go together to Brantley Swindon's and make some explosives. I think that sounds way more fun. Starlet says, do we even have any explosives? Yo, Starlet, you need to calm down. You need to chill. I'm going to have to put my heavier shades on. <laughs> well, I mean, it's only coming through the the helmet here. I, I, here, I'll angle it away. And she, like, points her head over to the other direction, and it's just like a super strong flashlight over in that direction. Turn your fucking brights off. Jeez. Oh, wait, yeah, I can put the sol solar shield down, and she uh, pulls the, the visor down, and it, it, like, you know, cuts out a lot of the light. It's still, like, a glowing face, um, but, um, but yeah, like, uh, it's, it's, you can look at it now. Starlet, these, these laser pistols and rifles can be theoretically overloaded to explode. So, technically, you know, we're, we're armed with explosives, if you think about it. Oh, okay. That seems like a very odd uh, feature. Kind of dangerous, but... Um, well, no, it's not cool. a feature. I'm I'm going to have to, like, rewire the whole thing to make oh. it do that. They have power cells. If you have a power cell, you can cause an explosion. And he probably has some kind of, like, vehicle-y kind of thing close by, right? Like, we could probably rig up something to explode from one of those. You know, his spaceship. Allison has a point. Put a little, put a little brick on the car or whatever, or on the gas pedal. Let it. Uh... 
All in all, it's just a, another brick on the gas pedal. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a good idea to me, I guess. All right, fuck it. Let's make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. All right, and so um, yeah, you um, <laughs> you uh, are heading out of the the customs um, area, and and there's like an elevator that leads down to the to the other you know, inside surface of the ring. And, um, and like, as you're getting loading into the, that, um, elevator, you can hear on the speakers again, like, Hello, I'm still waiting. Hadn't heard from y'all, hadn't seen you walking around. Hello? God damn it, they're not coming, are they? <laughs> and you just hear that. What does he expect us to do if he can't hear us? Why is he saying Hello? Not because really he's really a simple sure. kind of man. <laughs> 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 you guys um, reach the the inner part of the Alpine rain, Ring, and um, like uh, you emerge to an, an area. It's like this uh, kind of like the the bank tube thing, except it's much slower, um, and it just emerges from the the ground, and um, it's like a very um, sort of mountainous and snowy place um but it's like kind of right on the brink of a, like a simulated kind of um spring so it's not very cold but there's still like you know patches of snow all over the place especially up in like the higher mountainous areas you see um like you're kind of in the middle of a giant parking lot most of the spaces are uh are filled with other like sort of knockoff uh challengers that are all sort of like painted in different ways and, and all that. And um, there seems to be a lot of them were um, damaged in the sort of uh, Aldrin's versus Growler's riots that swept through the area. And so um, you would imagine that many of these are not um, not flight worthy anymore, but uh, there there's still like um, at least some semblance of, uh, of wreckage there with most of them. And some of them are kind of newer and, and still intact. But, um, Do I see any sort of like a control panel or anything like that nearby? A control panel? Um, there's one for the elevator. Any sort of computer or anything like that? Uh, is that connected to the same network on the ring world? Um, I'm just trying to talk to Florida Man if you want to know what my goal is. Oh, okay. I would say probably not from from this area. Um and, and okay. it's like there, there'd be a, a, a panel for the elevator, but that's about it from where you guys are right now. If I find something that is networked in, will you please let me know? I sure will. Thank you. I, I guess you would most likely start picking a direction and, and going that way, um, walking through these like rows and rows and rows of uh, various um, uh, various challenger models, and and there's occasionally uh, other um, space vehicles that are that are different and stuff but it, that's definitely the predominant one is the challengers would we know if these were actually like our old ships or are they just ships that other people have fashioned after ours you would definitely know that these are um, knockoff ships these are other okay. people's ships that were just like built to resemble the, the challenger that as you your band rose in popularity it would have been like the most popular vehicle okay. for you know, a good chunk of time and stuff. I know our ship was really cool and everything, but like, why? Why did people like it so much? It's kind of a piece of shit. Yeah, this whole thing is its really fucking creepy. Like, I, I really wish that the entire time that I was running into people that looked like me, I would have just let them know that this shit was fucking creepy. At least the carpeting in these ships probably don't smell like piss and vomit. No, it probably does, because they're looking for the authentic feel. Ooh. I saw once that they had, like, actual pucks that you could use to make your ship smell just like ours. <laughs> Charlie will puke in her mouth a little bit, like, <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Challenger senses. I remember that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Odu <the> Aldrin. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think so, Yankee uh, Candle made it. <laughs> And so, um, roll a notice check for me. Four. Four. Six. 
All right. So, um, yeah, it, it's been pretty quiet in this parking lot, um, other than like, you know, the wind blowing, all that kind of stuff. And, um, you can definitely hear some sort of commotion, like, um, vaguely in uh, one of the directions with it being a ring there's two major directions that you can go um, but um, you you hear some stuff over the um, not exactly over the horizon because everything curves upwards but at least over the curve of the local landscape as far as the mountains go and everything and um, the other thing that you hear is uh, it sounds like somebody's climbing out of their uh, their shuttle Charlie just got an idea, and she is going to try and see if she can find um, an IP address or email address for Florida Man. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll me uh, hacking. Okay. Trace the broadcast back to Nice. Four. All right. So um, you find uh, an email. I am going to email him a Trojan virus. Okay. <laughs> about dick enlarging pills. Okay. <gasps> Make it about XXL condoms. That actually might work better. Because it's a Trojan. <laughs> no, we're definitely going to go with dick enlarging pills. Uh, and it'll say, uh, grow three inches with this weird simple trick in the subject line. <laughs> Holy shit, I could be four inches. <laughs> <laughs> in your dreams maybe <laughs> <laughs> alright so I rounded up <laughs> remember when I said that I didn't want a replica on my elbow <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little button on your elbow it's like a mole <laughs> <laughs> alright and then um, so yeah you, you do that with the uh, Trojan and send it off okay and then um, you guys continue to hear um, the thing climbing down from its uh, shuttle. It's it's nearby, and um, you notice that it is a um, one of those hippo centaur creatures, and it's uh, dressed peculiarly like James. Charlie is going to walk up immediately and go. Oh my god, Charlie, you don't say things like that. And it answers back. The translation ends up being like, um, yo, what's up, help me? <laughs> Y'all come here for the show? She nods while she says that. Yeah, y you can, for the sake of the audience, uh, translate that so that I can... Oh, I wanted to make Brian translate it. <laughs> I was just hoping we were going to growl at each other for like 10 minutes and he would go with the rest. Charlie says, shut the fuck up, hippo centaur. <laughs> no, uh, she'll say, uh, what concert? Yeah, well, it's like, you know, kind of not really a concert as much as a contest, you know? Uh, how do you not know us? Um... Hibersleep. Oh, shit, y'all just got here? Yup. So, tell me the happy haps. Oh, is it safe on the other side yet? What? Yeah, all, show all sorts of shit went down during those riots, like... Man, like, um, you know, a lot of people, when they came through customs, like, they, you know, got clapped as soon as they got out of their ships. Um, you know, people were dragging motherfuckers all around, like, you know, bleeding everywhere and every, ah, you know, like all that kind of crazy shit, you know. Anyways, if you knew here, and it was, I guess you got through, so um, it happened in, in every system. I'm sure you know, like, these, you know, riots are everywhere, you know, whether you were an Aldrin's, you know, representing or you were for the Growlers and all that kind of shit. But, um, anyways... Wait, who are you for? Oh, I'm Growlers all the way. I mean, ever since that performance at that show, at the memorial? <laughs> Dog. Okay, good. No, you you picked the right side because I was gonna have to blast you in the face if you said Aldrin's. Fucking big-ass motherfuckers. Yeah, well, uh, I'm glad you didn't start no static because I, I ain't no slouch when it comes to, you know, protecting myself. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'll be honest that I have trouble believing that from somebody that wears the James face, but okay. 
Nah, James is Stone Cold Killer, yo. Um, anyways. <laughs> James is actually a little biatch, but okay. Yeah, as, as you guys are talking, like, um, he's kind of, like, waved along for you to, uh, like, you know, follow him towards, like, that commotion that you were hearing. And, um, like, you kind of reach the end of the parking lot and you just, like, see just, like, droves and droves of people down in this valley kind of um, surrounding a big um, stage. And then just off to the side of the stage is, like, the sort of um, remnants of an old house and um, where it was obviously burnt down and stuff. And uh, right where you get to where you can see down there, he's like, yeah, and so, like, um, after the riots got, like, you know, right to their peak, um, everyone, was, everyone was like, you know, this is bullshit. And uh, they went and stormed uh, Brantley Swindon's compound. And, like, the Aldrins were killed. Like, people fucking ripped them all the way apart and shit. And, like, it was crazy. And uh, they went through all the house. They couldn't find that motherfucker. And um, they, they did find all these tapes of, like, Aldrins clones. Like, you know, like everybody, you know, like uh, people like us. And, like, you know, doing some sort of tryout to be in the band. Not Once like word us. Got out, not yeah, like, like it. Nope, not like us. <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. Let me let me finish. Everybody realized that there was never just one band, you know? It was it was all a game, a replacement game. Like some Dread Pirate Roberts type shit. So that's when the entertainment companies like swooped in. They decided to keep it going. And to do that they made a spectacle of it. And around this you're like getting towards the, the edge of the crowd and starting to see everybody and like um actually hear what's going on on the loudspeakers and um he's his uh retelling is interrupted by um a voice on the loudspeaker going welcome to the galaxy's next top aldrins <laughs> One more episode. One last time. One more left to go. It's the one last crime. It's the L to the C to the P O D to the C to the A to the S and T to the D to the N to the dragon your feet. Cause you don't want it to end. Yo. Cause the show's on fleek. Or listen to us on patreon.com slash LCPDND. It's practically free. Just a dollar or more to get your ears in the door. Just a tiny fee. If you want to hear more, if you want to support, you can also use Kofi. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, B. But a dollar or more will get you episode zero. A dollar or more? And you could be a hero. I need a beer, though, just to drown my sorrows. Because the final episode drops tomorrow. Well, it, it drops in two weeks, but that rhyme felt right in the moment. I'll call it a temp rhyme and record something else later. Don't put this in the episode. So if I were to ask you what kind of microphone you had and ask what kind of um, <laughs> off-axis noise rejection it no offers. That, okay. Hold on. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me pull up the Amazon page and read you the specs. <laughs> well, that's not going to tell you the off-axis noise rejection. That's a, you have to use it to understand. Well, I, it's not just a matter of flipping switches. It's... Like well, he put it in his butt once. Is that what you're asking about? <laughs> Is that what you mean by off access? <laughs> no, his butt's apparently very accessible somehow. I don't know. <laughs> I should have taken it out of the stand before I did that. Brian at the bar. I just want to let you know that I am very accessible. The most <laughs> accessible. <laughs> what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that Alistair is recording. Brian's ass is very accessible. We're talking about how uh, soundproof the walls of my colon are. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Spoiler alert, they're not. <laughs> oh, fuck.
<laughs> also, like, as soon as I opened the door to the truck, I just, like, um, left my headset connected to the, to the computer, and then just, like, set him down on the, um, on the bed in here, and then I just, like, walked inside. And then when I came back, as soon as I opened the door, like, without having the headset on or anything, I can just hear Tim cackling. <laughs> <laughs> Very I don't cackle, unheard. Chris. <laughs> I uh -huh. guffaw, thank you. Uh-huh. He canters. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's a walk, Brian. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I All can't I know tell is... with you. <laughs> All I know is, apparently, according to Tim, it's less gay than sauntering. <laughs> <laughs> I would say they're about equal, but I could see. When did I say that sauntering made. was gay? I interpreted it a little bit. Oh, I mean, here's one thing we can we can definitely claim: it's definitely gay when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Fair. Because I'm gay, and how drawn I was to sauntering, I just put two and two together. Hmm. God, Rotter. I really would appreciate it if you could respect other people's sexualities and uh, whatnot, but I guess, you know. Gotta just try and try and gaslight people into thinking that they're bad people, I guess, you know? And they, they, it's fine, Brian. Like, I'm, I'm cool with it. <laughs> Chris, what does it mean when Tim says gaslighting? What, what is that Milwaukeean <laughs> for? <laughs> no, gaslighting that means is lighting little... your weed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weed up from the feet up, bro. <laughs> I love that. That's so much better than the actual definition. I'm going to make an urban dictionary entry. If you don't think that uh that uh young people haven't already come up with the fact that gas is a term for weed and lighting is what a lighter does, you're out of your fucking mind. I'm sure it's already on Urban Dictionary. Damn it. Because I'm pretty sure that you just learned that gas was a slang term for weed today. Right now, I did. Oh, fair enough. That. Yeah, there you go. Specifically good weed, though. It's important. It can't be gas if it's trash. You know what I mean? Mm. And it's swag. I can't tell if you're legitimately teaching us drug terms or if you're just making <laughs> shit up. <laughs> And like trying to make Brian look like an idiot later. I prefer it that way, Kim. <laughs> it's like, like when Daryl teaches Michael Scott some black slang and mm -hmm. <laughs> how to do mm -hmm. handshakes and stuff. I feel like that's one hundred percent what's happening right now. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't. Don't know. really want to disprove I, it. So it fine. isn't. Thanks for putting the idea in his head, though. Like I had to. Do you know what's really funny is yeah. all of that was 100% an actual thing. Like, those are real terms. <clears throat> okay. Well, I don't know anymore, so. But, I mean, at the same time, there are so many slang terms for different types of weed that it depends on what region you're in as to what one you're going to hear colloquially. I saw this article about the hacker that locked the internet-connected chastity cage, and I didn't understand that. Why are there inter internet-connected chastity cages? Uh, for virtual cucks, <laughs> Brian. God, don't kink shame. I was just about to say the um the the gif of um the the dude from the Joker saying you wouldn't get it. <laughs> hey everyone, V cuck here. <laughs> like cam guys or something? What? Like... Maybe, probably not though. Like it's for it's for people that their kink is their girlfriend or wife. Or boyfriend, I guess, or husband having sex with other people, like that's a hundred percent what that kink comes from. And so, like, you would only let them out of the cage for certain reasons. I don't fucking know. They make everything interconnected, internet connected. Your fridge can be internet connected. Why? I don't know. It can be though. So can your toaster, <laughs> right? You know, like, I that's mean... a very fair point. I get that now. Okay, it makes sense. And I mean, the Internet of Things is super secure. Despite all my rage, this hacker locked my dick in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> T 
tell me I'm not allowed to come. (laughs) (laughs) I still believe that my cock can be saved. Oh, well. You tried. (laughs) That was an attempt at something, at least. (laughs) Oh, fuck. So shall we play Savage Worlds or what? Eh, whatever. Or do we want to just keep quoting Smashing Pumpkins? I'm down with either. Quoting? (laughs) I'm pretty sure those are the lyrics. (laughs) (laughs) I said your words. I obviously was not listening to the lyrics when I was listening to Smashing Pumpkins. (laughs) Smashing Cuckins. Tonight is one of the worst songs to parody. I can't even do anything with it. It's so fucking slow and repetitive. Tonight, tonight, won't be just any night. That one? No, but now I'm picturing Smashing Pumpkins (laughs) covering that song. I didn't think of it quick enough, but um, when you said that song is just so um, slow and repetitive, I should have said, well, that's just like you. (laughs) (laughs) You didn't say that quick enough. (laughs) Yep, so now the title is mine. (laughs) I keep trying to come up with something from zero where it would be like, uh, if caging dicks is loneliness and lonely, but I can't come up with anything after that. (laughs) What's worse is, like, I'm pretty sure we, we've all had this exact same conversation several weeks ago where we were doing, doing the same exact thing with another subject, but it was still Smashing Pumpkin songs. We hit those same two songs and then couldn't think of any. Listen, nobody actually knows Smashing Pumpkins. They just kind of, like, they hear the song and they're like, oh, yeah, that's Smashing Pumpkins. But they can't yeah. actually name any. But apparently y'all know Creed like the back of your hand, so that's disturbing. <laughs> well, I don't know if anybody knows anything like Brian knows the back of his hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have to switch to a different band. <clears throat> Sky rockets in flight. Boom, boom, boom. No? Yeah? I don't uh-huh. even know what band that is, to be honest with you. I love it when you call me Senior Peener. I love that I can say I've seen your peener. Your cotton <laughs> balls are ooh la la la. It's <laughs> true la la la. Ooh, I can't stop coming. Ooh, you've got me coming when you call me Senior Peener. I love that I can say I've seen your peener. <laughs> I have no idea what that Wait. is. <laughs> Is there ice in that somebody's peener, or did you see their peener? <laughs> I see. I love it when you call me senorita. It's a Justin Bieber song. You wouldn't know it. Is oh. it really? Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh-huh. Did you not know it was by Bieber? No, it's not. Bieber and Where the yeah. hell did you get that? That's not Bieber right. Bieber and someone. Senorita. Would... Oh, Sean Mendes. Yeah. Sorry. Wrong Ryan one. would know. He's a believer. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, Kim. You challenging me? You challenging me? You come to my house? <laughs> you come to the Bieber Dome and expect me to not call you out? <laughs> the Bieber Dome. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait. They should call it the Bieber Dam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a Brian joke. But hey, funny. I'm still disappointed that I didn't make it originally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 